Hello guys, this is Herman again in another Just My Review and today we have another DIY project but from now on guys we're gonna make something different in our videos. As you guys know I like to put details in how I install my uh, uh, my items on my uh, my vehicles but from now on guys we're gonna start doing two different videos I'm gonna do the short video and I'm gonna do the installation version basically it's gonna be the same video but one is gonna be completely small basically short video and the other one is gonna be with details how to put uh, remove screws how to do certain things that you guys not gonna see in the uh, short video and guys everything is gonna be in the link after you guys finish watching the short video you guys will see it right there that way if you guys want to make an installation you guys can check that video and go straight to the different points that we're going to use that day to install whatever we're going to install for example guys right here behind me i got this box right there and this is the uh racks for the top of my uh ridge line let's go and do that right now and i'm gonna show you guys how to do it how to get it and where you guys can have the installation instructions as soon as we start doing this let's go and do this guys okay guys uh this is the box i got from the website i got this on a honda dealer but not like a I told you guys all the time try to make the orders online uh, if you guys go to the dealer this box is gonna cost you the price that you are supposed to pay the real price the manufacturer price the, these uh, 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 rocks cost around 600 and between 600 and 700 dollars something like that I pay for this uh, about a uh, uh, 400 and change with delivery and everything to the door of my house and guys uh, this company I'm gonna tell you guys I, I check a lot of different uh, websites from Honda and you know most of the time you guys gotta call them and make sure they have the parts because otherwise probably they're not gonna have it in stock but these guys when I call it they always have stuff in their uh, warehouses and uh, this is something good also I love from these guys is this look at this label right here yes as you guys can see right there it says high claim item this is something that when you see this on the packages like this one is something that is scary for companies like UPS or FedEx it means if something happened to this they, they are uh, liable to pay any damage to this one and also guys look at the way they pack it uh, it's very very strong and they got right here corners to protect uh, these items and well that's first thing number one I uh, like from these guys so far the way they pack it this is the item number you guys can see it right there uh, this is the uh, code if you guys want to get this one too but this is the uh, 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 this is not the uh, uh, with the gloss paint. I get the other ones. This is the black ones. Uh, let's go and open this and let's see how it looks. This install in my truck, guys. Let's go and get these guys out. First thing, we're going to remove this cap right here, and we are going to use a small screwdriver. This just go in and that's it. You just pop this thing out. Then we are going to measure with the tape and we're gonna put the center uh, marker right over here. Everything is on the model, but I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like. This is the items we are going to use for this installation, guys. Right here we have the manual i'm gonna show you guys how to get this one and also this place is where you guys can buy this item uh for me is one of the most reliable places you guys can check somewhere else but you guys can have the manual for these guys also we got uh to use uh tape we're gonna need a ruler like this one i'm gonna use this one it's good enough i'm gonna use this marker and not this this specific one but you guys need something like this uh real uh with uh, uh sharpie uh, or another brand you guys need 
Uh, also, we're gonna need a tape. You guys can use this one if you don't have the uh, yellow tape that it's especially made for automobiles. Safety first, we're gonna use glasses, guys, because we gotta do some stuff. And also, guys, we're gonna need this number 10 socket, 10 millimeter socket. We're gonna need two T tools. We need this T40 uh, socket. We're gonna need also this T15 socket. I'm gonna use this wrench. If you guys got just the, uh, the tools, don't worry about it, you guys can use that. I'm using this because it's more convenient, more easy for me, and thanks God I have these guys. And also guys, one of the most important things right here too, is the uh, torque wrench. Guys, you guys need this. Make sure you guys use this because we're gonna need it. It's uh, required right here in order to set the required torque for the bolts on top of the uh, track, all right? Let's go and start this installation. Okay, guys, look this. This is beautiful, the finish in this, uh, in this uh, uh, rocks. Look at how it looks. This is aluminum and uh, this black, beautiful. Uh, I love it. It's shiny, shiny, shiny. And let's see how this thing is gonna look in this guy right here. I think it's gonna do a big difference. I don't know what you guys think about it, but I think these guys are going to make a big, big difference. Okay, let's go and do this. It's supposed to be something easy. Uh, the tools we're gonna need, I'm gonna show you what we need exactly, guys. Let's go and do this right now. Then, according with the extractions, we are going to measure from the end to the front windshield and we're gonna get the half of this and we're gonna put this uh, basically piece of tape right here same thing on the other side and we're gonna mark it then we're gonna remove the screw right there using the number 10 and we're gonna keep removing everything out then guys when we remove all that we can remove this starting from the inside out basically we're gonna start in the left side right over here and carefully you can use a trim tool or you guys can use your hand uh, just do it carefully and just start going little by little using your two hands and you guys you see you guys can pull this thing going little by little with the tool uh, with, I'm sorry with the trim tool it's gonna be more easier and we got it all this to the end and we pull this out remember from here to going outside with your uh, hand basically with your finger little by little or basically clip with the trim tool then guys we're going to remove this uh, clip from here this one over here too we're gonna remove it and also we're gonna remove this one the last one right here we're gonna use a prime tool like this one and we're gonna get it from the bottom and just pop it up And that's it. This is not reusable, guys. Okay, now, guys, we are going to use this little screwdriver to remove. Let me just point it right here. We have to bend this little uh, clip right here. We're going to bend it to the top. And then uh, we're going to pull this piece out. We have to bend this one right here. And as soon as we do that, this one is going to be released. Let me show you guys how it's going to be the... Uh, the process you guys see is going out i already did it but that's why uh you guys can see it like that and we're gonna need this piece As you guys see this piece is already bended and uh let's go and keep doing the rest then you guys gonna mark it over here and the same measurement at the end right over there we're gonna do seven inches with 60 760 all right and we're gonna mark it over there and then we going uh we are going to cut this all right all right guys now we have to cut uh the excess of this uh cover and that's how i do it i use my press i put a rack and i cover the whole piece in order to don't get a scratch by the uh, uh by the press and uh it's something like this uh, it's gonna is the uh, excess we gotta cut 
I'm using my saw, manual saw. If you got an electric one or something like that, you can use that one. And that's the what I market. Uh, I was, uh, yeah, I was thinking to use the market, but I think this is better. I can see it clear. And as you guys can see, you know, I just gotta follow that line. And let's do that and see how it look. All right, and done. And that's it, guys. We just put some sand over here, sand uh, uh, paper or something like that. And just to clean this a little bit, it's not that bad, but just in case. Also guys, remember to clean this area right here. This is the two screws we're gonna use to put the uh, racks. And you guys can use this uh, uh, torque. This is the one we're gonna use to uh, put together the rack and the roof. And you guys go in and out, in and out. This one is going like that because it's already clean, but in the very beginning, it's gonna look like this one. And you guys gotta remove that. Don't force it, go little by little. Take it out and clean the excess, all right? All right, guys, when we're done uh, doing this piece right here, we are going to install the three retainers, one in the uh, in each uh, bolt of the uh, top of the uh, truck. Then we snap it in. Then we're gonna put this last piece right here. Remember the piece we, re uh, we removed in the very beginning with the uh, 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 nut over here. We wanna put at uh, five to seven pounds, seven pounds, I'm sorry, seven pounds, uh, uh, torque and then we're gonna put the rack on top of here uh, guys I just uh, a little advice to you guys I just use this guy right here just in case you know uh, thread lock you never know just to be safe and then uh, we're going to put these guys right here this one is gonna require between 14 to 18 pounds I put 17 uh, pounds in this one and that said, we're gonna put this cover right there, like that one in there. Let me show you how I'm gonna put this one in the front. It's very easy. This is not too complicated. Uh, you just guys put this one right there. Remember, just, just slide it right there, like that. Then let it sit and just play with this. And then you guys have it. You got that. And then final step, we're gonna use this little guy right here with the 15, uh, the with the uh, T15 right in the back over here as you guys see it right here yep this hole right here you guys put it right there and that's it okay well that's that's the same thing on the other side let's finish All this right, guys. and let's see Finally, the final result the job yeah. is done look at how this guys looks look at this shine so beautiful real nice you know i didn't Honestly, I didn't know it's gonna make such a difference, but when you see the truck from the distance, you know, you notice the difference. And you know, the more black combined with the white, I love it. Uh, more black, I don't know, it's, it's something completely different. This pickup is, is different without these racks on top. And basically all the black I found this truck I love it I love it well guys there you have it easy way it's gonna be a short video just to show you the uh, parts you need and how it looks like just make sure to click at the end of this video and basically it's gonna be this same video but in the short version all right guys thumbs up subscribe and see you guys in another just my review Bye-bye.